back. One, don't ignore it. It's a new sleep disorder. Mama tells me witches ride my back at 3 a.m. Sit there, hands edging at my thighs like the witches on my back being with me is enough, he says. That their black magic is enough to make me sick. I'm all he needs to do something and worry about the devil in my relationship. The floor won't stop. It rattles with my sweat. I wrap myself in the bathtub. The only child safe space in this house. This is the third night in a row he makes my floors ripple. I can hear him. I am worried that by dawn he will have left three. Lock the doors. Why? The devil never stops at locked doors. Is this God's way of asking me to call out his name? Why is God using evil to get me back? And how do you love someone you have to lock out for? Pray and pray. And I know the devil is only here to make me wonder, to split us up, to fracture the army of us, send us in the lake of fire and sulfur, make me walk the halls without his arm to hold by. Practice deep breathing. Or maybe I shouldn't let oxygen get to my brain the way he did six. Count backwards from 100 by threes. I ain't good at math, because if I was, I'd know the things he tell me don't add up. Seven, relax your muscles. I don't touch the ones in my heart. They are mush vessels, not sober-minded or watchful. They are inflated knots holding on to the smile he flashed freshman year. Eight, think happy thoughts. Imagine my legs without sweat. Imagine the bathtub as him holding me nine. Get help from a friend. Who the hell do I call at 3 a.m. besides him? But he is getting annoyed with me. I'm sorry I forced him to listen. I'm sorry I forced him to know me. I'm sorry he noticed my steps are out of place. Ten more happy thoughts. 3 a.m. <laughs> is a dead hour, and demon thoughts of him are bleeding through the walls. It's 3 a.m., and the walls pound images of him with someone else, of all our conversations turning into lies. Let him in. Mm -hmm. <laughs>